गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स मैंने भी दीपक अंगवा सेंट पोकन ज्योति विद्यापीठ वुमेंस यूनिवर्सिटी इन टूडेज टॉपिक आई विल टीच यू ऑडिट प्लानिंग वॉट इज ऑडिट प्लानिंग ऑडिट प्लानिंग इज द मेजर पार्ट ऑफ ऑडिट वर्क फॉर बोथ इंटरनल एंड एक्सटर्नल ऑडिट्स अ गुड ऑडिट प्लानिंग विल हेल्प द ऑडिटर टू मिनिमाइज इट्स रिस्क इम्प्रूव एंड इम्प्रूव ऑडिट एफिशेंसी एंड मीट इट्स ऑब्जेक्टिव एट द मिनिमम एफर्ट Auditors are required to prepare a proper audit plan to ensure that all audit risks are identified and correct audit strategies are deployed to detect all concerning these areas. It is essential for the auditor to prepare a good strategic audit plan. If the plan is well prepared, all kind of audit risks are identified and detected. This will help the auditor to minimize the audit risk or issuing the incorrect opinion to. financial statements in this article we will discuss that what should auditors do during their audit audit planning stages and the significant tips for the correct audit plan so now you see before audit what uh, uh, things uh, we should do before audit activities are also important of audit plan and in this stage uh, required by standard the auditor should perform client due diligence to make sure that the auditor fully understands the client nature of the business sources of fund and its major activities this is to avoid engaging with the client that involves illegal activity or money laundering perform an understanding of client and firm to ensure that there is a major conflict of interest and independence that could audit works maintaining audit independence is a very important to ensure a quality of audit opinion then consider the consider cliently integrity before setting the audit engagements the last one understand the term and condition of audit engagement before set the avoid any conflict now planning activities at this stage the audit auditor requires establishing an overall strategy that sets the scope timing and audit direction and guides the development of the audit plan this is to ensure that the audit plan reflect the scope and the nature of engagement like the list of things the auditor should do during the audit plan identifying the audit engagements so define the uh, define report requirements the audit report is very important and the auditor identify the objective using audit report when the time required for example what are the tire report using and probably who is going to receive and uh, who is, is having access to the audit report the point also documenting engagement letter so let's say the company required by law to have financial statement audited by cpa form annually okay the timeline of the report is also important of audit plan if the time is not sufficient auditor should assess the impact of audit quality as a result this in this planning stage the auditor should assess if the time lag is sufficient enough or not okay now assess conflict of interest consider if there are any factor that could affect the audit team member professional judgment and subsequently the quality of audit report for example there is a conflict of interest between team members and clients team members chooses to staff in fine department or clients and prospective employers of the members so assess resource requirement the success of audit engagement and good quality reports depend significantly the audit resources This includes the member of audit team members, qualification and experience. There is a member of question number of questions to be asked when assessing audit resources. How many audit team members required for the engagement? Does the team member have experience in auditing such industry? When will the audit work start and when when will be the required report required? When it is the client office location and do we need to have lot of traveling there are many other questions to be asked depend on the characteristics of audit engagement and risk uh, assessment 
risk assessment is also one of the most important part of audit plan and is also the requirement of international standard of auditing the auditor should be perform risk assessment by reviewing from control environment which is a big picture of control activity of such each key process and procedure now conclusion audit planning is a critical part of audit work and performing the current audit plan so conduct proper risk assessment properly assess the resource requirement properly identify the uh, characteristics correctly identify report requirement properly assess by the conflict of interest so that's all for today's class i hope you have understood the session thank you very much